Today we're going to take a look on at how to use Google Slides to make a little mind map um, in the absence of any other uh, mind mapping software that you may be using. Um, the advantage of using slides to do this is that you've got um, a lot of familiar, familiarity built into it uh, with your students already having used it in the past. So what you can do is you can just use the shape menu, click on shape, and then you can start with your central idea. Uh, you may want to use something fun like a cloud, and so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to make a cloud in the middle. And the neat thing about slides is that if you just double click a shape that you that you put on, you can actually just type right in it. So I'll put my central idea. And let's go ahead up here to my alignment and I'm just going to center it. You can of course change the font and all that sort of thing uh, if you want. Then um, maybe I will take uh, a shape here and add like a sub idea. So I might for this one use a rounded rectangle and I will call the double click on it, call this main idea one. I can just actually just control C, copy that, and paste it, and make my other uh, main idea double, and then I'll paste it again, and put it here as well. Now you'll notice that my canvas is kind of um, getting a bit small here. You can always resize these things so that they um, fit better on your on your canvas, or you can actually resize the canvas itself. Um, under file and then um, a page setup down here. If you go down here, you can actually change it. Uh, even if you want to change it to a conventional sheet of paper, you might want to do like 11 by 7 or 8.5 and, <clears throat> and then there you go. That's the size of a conventional sh sheet of paper. And then you can just sort of re resize things as you see fit. Then, once you've gotten these things all arranged the way you want, uh, you can add in sub ideas as well. So let's choose a different shape for those just to you know, alert ourselves to the idea that we're looking at something else. Let's use ovals. And so I'll make an oval here. And then I'll call this evidence one. And I'll copy that. And I'll call this evidence two. Here. And so you can see yourself doing this for each of your uh, topics, it's, and it's not very difficult and very time consuming. Um, now we would need to show the relationships, so if I go over to my line tool, I can do a couple different things. I can do a curve or an arrow. I'm going to choose an arrow, and when you hover over a shape, you get these little dots that make it a little bit easier to connect. So if I click on this dot, I can bring it over here and it will uh, actually just snap there. Um, I can change the width of my line. Let's make it a three point line. And then I can do the same thing over here. So I'll make another arrow and I will go uh, from here to there. Okay, and then I can do the same thing here. I will go back to my arrow, hover over and bring it like that. And so now we've got um, we've got uh, you know uh, the relationship between those ideas. If I move this, you'll notice that the arrow is moving as well. And so maybe I can say, well, you know, I don't really want it going through the shape, so I can just uh, delete that arrow and come back, then start here again, and then bring it over here. There we go. And again, we'll change the width of our line. And there you have it. And then of course you can do all your fun little things like you can change the color of them and all that stuff so you can click on your your fill tool and give it a blue or you can click on this one go into your gradient make it a nice idea like that and that's how you can use google slides to make a mind map hope that has been helpful